jobs anymore. Well, you can't hire anyone full time unless you buy them a Cadillac health plan. And a Cadillac health plan doesn't mean you get to drive to your doctor in a Cadillac. No, what it means is that you have to be bought everything that you need in the way of sexual products. It's because as I was saying, this is what the Democrats are all about. So you have to have all the Viagra that you need and all the birth control that you need. And this, of course, is typical government, you know, because we all know that if they didn't buy so much Viagra with all of the health care money, they wouldn't have to buy so much birth control. Um, this, of course, this is a classic model of government. We pay people to grow up tobacco. We spend hundreds of millions of dollars in advertising how bad tobacco is. This is the way government works. Um, some of the more politically astute among you know, however, that the Supreme Court did come out with a Hobby Lobby decision. And in the Hobby Lobby decision, it said there was a religious exemption to having to buy this contraception. Um, I think this is a great idea. I think that we need to expand the religious potential idea. I think if I were an employer, I would invent a new religion. Guess what I would call it? I would call it the Church of Full Employment. Okay? <laughs> the Church of Full Employment is simple, all right? You hire employees, you pay them, and they buy their own health care. Somehow. Um, can you imagine that? I mean, that would be shocking. That would be like the freedom to uh, take your school taxes and pay your tuition, whatever school you wanted. Can you imagine that? The progressive's heads would explode. But getting back to that Supreme Court decision, uh, the Hobby Lobby people didn't have to provide the birth control for their employees, and my opponent, Earl Blumenauer took this very seriously. He was so serious that he immediately went on Twitter, which as you know is the forum for all serious politicians, uh, and he declared that the decision was a blow against women's reproductive freedom. Now, let me get this straight. If we don't buy women birth control, we are interfering with their right to reproduce. Does anybody see anything wrong with this? <laughs> I mean, I thought the purpose of the birth control was that we were supposed to be sort of able to have fun without reproducing. Uh, and I don't think my opponent gets this. I don't know why. But I think really, of course, what's going on here, we all know. The, the Democrats' point of view, you know why. Okay. The Democrats' point of view is if you're not paying for my fun, then you're interfering with my freedom. That's the that's part of the queer justice world. Um, very important part of the queer justice world. We don't have laws to protect your rights and your property. We have laws to take your property away to buy sex toys for other people. Um, to return to the question of unemployment, we have, uh, we have an answer from Obamacare. We're going to create a lot more jobs, and the way we do it is we tell people that they don't have to buy all these Cadillac plans if they will hire part-time people instead of full-time people. Presto changeo, we've got twice the jobs. What else is there such high unemployment? Do any of you remember, as children, being told the, state, the tale of the troll under the bridge. You know, you want to go across the bridge and this troll comes across and demands that, that. Well, that's the model of modern government. You find something that people want to do and like to do, and you stand under the troll and you say, you know, you don't have a license for that. You know, Pay up. Um, so, for example, imagine that you wanted to start a business braiding people's hair for them, okay? You want to open up, say, Leroy's hair braiding salon, right? No, now we've got the job police, okay? We have a report of wild and uncontrolled hair braiding going on here. That's completely illegal. You have to spend $17,000 going to 17,000 hours of school and a certified hair braider. That's the way it works in all the professions now. It used to be uh, why else don't we have jobs? Well, here in Oregon, we know one big reason is environmental restrictions. Uh, we can't have a wood products industry anymore because you can't cut down trees because everybody knows they don't grow back, right? <laughs> I mean, nope, you cut one down, it's gone forever. Some of you may have even flown over Oregon and seen just how precious few trees are left, so you know how important it is to keep us from cutting down any trees. Now, there is light at the end of the tunnel. My opponent has the answer for all this. It's the answer to all your problems. We don't need jobs. We don't need full employment. This is simple. We're just going to legalize marijuana, and you can get high all the time and not have to worry about it. <laughs> this reminds me of the old French proverb, even a blind pig finds an acorn now and again. Um, so I want to say that I think Arnold and I was right. We shouldn't be filling up our prisons with all of these nonviolent drug offenders. We should be filling them up with the Wall Street bankers instead. Uh, <laughs>